Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope you're all doing amazing today. In this pickle card reading, we are going to see who is coming towards you in love. We're going to see how you're going to meet this person, uh, details about their energy, about their personality, how this connection is going to feel like, when you're going to meet them, and a lot more details such as um, initials and their star sign. Okay, so we're going to have a better look at as many details as possible about this person that's coming into your life. All right, so we have here three piles for you to choose from. This is pile number one with the green fluoride crystal in the shape of a point. Okay, this is pile number two with the amethyst crystal. In pile number three, we did a blue opal crystal in the shape of a crescent moon. Choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to and after you're done choosing, you can skip ahead using the timestamps down below. But before we get started, please take a quick moment to hit like and also to subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future. And as always, if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm going to use today, I'll link all of them down below so you can check them out. And with that being said, I'll see you on your reading. Hi, my dear pal number one. Welcome to those of you that chose the green fluoride crystal. So let's see who is coming towards you. All right, I'm going to start off with the card that you were drawn to, pal number one, and that is the five of pentacles. And with this card, I'm sensing that this person might be someone that you already know, uh, someone that you maybe even interact with or someone that um, you just know okay or is like your acquaintance or uh, a person that knows you or yeah maybe you don't interact as much but at least this is someone that maybe sees you um, because I sense that they are sitting in the shadow somewhere like more in the back and they really admire you, pal number one, okay? This person, I feel like they already know you, they admire you, uh, they sit in the shadow and they have feelings for you. This is the energy that I'm picking up. So this person already has feelings for you, okay? Um, because I'm, I'm picking up an energy of loneliness, so this person also feels very lonely, very um, like left out or left behind. Um, abandoned right so like this person maybe doesn't have the confidence enough okay or maybe they're too shy to come and express their feelings but i feel like more so could be that they see you as being interested in someone else or having already someone in your life romantically um okay or maybe yeah this person just doesn't feel ready to come and express their feelings but i feel like they they get that sense that um you don't notice them okay and either way they don't get in the center of attention and maybe this is a person that doesn't like to be in the center of attention i feel like maybe this is an introvert a person that really loves to have deep strong connections with people but it takes them longer to like open up or to come forward and try to really build that connection okay with someone because i see the pentacles and this represents that this person really values like security uh, long-term committed relationships uh that sort of thing okay so they do have serious intentions with you they want to have a stable relationship with you but i feel like this person is just a bit um like that type of person that takes a longer time to open up or is just something that makes them stay behind or makes them feel left out as you're not pay, uh, paying attention to them or you're not noticing them all right let's take a look at your tarot cards let's see who is this person that's coming towards pal number one so we got the four of wands we also have the six, I think like it was like this. It doesn't really matter, but I like to have my cards like in the order that they flipped. So we have the ace of cups and the six of uh, swords. Okay, let's see one more tarot card. We have the hanged man. Okay. 
so now we're looking at, at the energies about who is this person right that's coming into your life pal number one so i feel like this is someone that has a very unique mind someone who is very creative uh, a person that stands out from the crowd even though they don't like being in the center of attention they usually come up with the um, most unique ideas or creative solutions uh, this is someone that has a brilliant mind or at least they always can come with a different perspective to a situation here with the hangman so see how this person is like enlightened so i feel like this person um has a solution to each situation where they are someone that is really having a sharp mind um and can be like very creative okay and unique um in their in their mentality in the way they perceive the world in in their ideas okay and i also feel like this is such a sensitive and loving person their heart is just like an ocean of emotions i feel like this person oh i feel like this is why they all uh, get this feeling of abandonment or like being left behind or left out or loneliness because i feel like they are very sensitive right and they feel things very deeply i'm sorry if i kept saying feel feelings a lot but what i'm trying to say is like maybe i'm saying this a lot because it is uh, something about this person they are specific about this person they feel a lot they feel very deeply they are maybe a water sign we're gonna see their star sign later on in the reading but i feel like with the ace of cups either way they are very sensitive right and they are someone that has a big heart they they get attached really strongly um and they like to put a lot of their heart yeah in their connections so as i say they don't necessarily maybe want a lot of connections but they want quality ones a few but quality ones right um that bring value to them bring value to their life and with the ace of cups i do sense that this person also like already has feelings for you pal number one i'm telling you um and they feel great in your company they feel like you know they feel like you two are having a good time maybe this is someone already that you are connecting with and you don't know just that they have feelings for you um so it depends on your situation is it a general reading but i do see that here is a lot of positive energies passion enthusiasm excitement right with a four of one so i feel like this is how they feel when they are in your company or maybe you two like um like had different moments or you met at certain celebrations or parties this can mean like that celebrations parties um yeah like social gatherings okay maybe wedding weddings yeah or like uh different celebrations right um okay and i do feel like they have feelings for you here with the ace of cups in they are ready to offer you all their hearts see here how this hand is just like bringing that cup and it's an offer of love of true love overflowing love so their feelings for you are quite strong and this is why they even maybe feel so alone when they are not in your company or maybe this is even why they find it so hard to come forward because they maybe think that you they are a bit too intense with their feelings okay um and yeah i do sense here that this person um is either thinking about you know maybe there is something better for them out there because as i said even though they have lots of feelings for you even though they have um they have this thing where they really respect their energy respect their peace of mind and I think that if it's the case that you already are in a relationship with someone okay i feel like this is more of a specific message that but if you're already in a relationship with someone or you have already a special person right i feel like they have thoughts of needing to move on okay here with the six of swords because it's like i don't see that this person would be that type to really try to pursue you 
if you already are in a relationship or if you're already in a connection with someone, right? I feel like this person is just too sensitive and they feel like too much in they have too much like empathy and intuition. I, I, I just sense that this person has a strong intuition um, and they are very empathic. They sense other people's feelings and energies. Um, like they can pick up on body language. Um, okay. And I feel like they are just too too empathic to do that and to interfere in a connection already. So if that's the case, I feel like that's a specific message for those of you that resonate. Um, just a more general message about this card. I feel like this is someone that usually doesn't don't stay in a situation where they don't feel valued or in a situation where they feel like there's nothing for there for them. Okay. Let's see more information about how is this connection going to feel like, or maybe, um, yeah, like how they, maybe how they feel already the connection, but I feel like more it's um, about how this whole connection is going to feel in the future with this person once they are going to express, because I feel with the Ace of Cups, you know, it's like one side of them is like wanting to tell how they feel and one uh, is like, maybe I should move on, but I feel like it's just more specific message for those of you that are already in a relationship, okay? So we have the Hierophant, and let's take one more card. Wow, okay. So as the answer for how is this connection going to feel like, we've got the Hierophant and the Three of Cups, which both cards are so positive. The Hierophant shows that you're going to make it official with this person or at least this connection is going to feel official so once you're going to be in a relationship or this person is going to confess their feelings you're going to feel that this person has serious intentions with you that they want to get a committed serious relationship with you um the hierophant also shows responsibility shows uh, good morals and values um so you're going to feel that this person really wants to make this connection and this relationship official like let's be together just the two of us uh, i don't sense that this person wants like just to casual date or just to have a situation ship where you can date other people i feel like they want to want it to be exclusive and official um this person also might be thinking about marriage with you because we have like the four of wands and also the hierophant, but the hierophant is like a strong message for for commitment, for marriage, for uh, engagement. So right from the start of the of your reading, I saw that they want something serious with you, pal one. And with the three of wands, I'm sensing that you know it's going to be a lot of happiness, or so you're gonna feel really good in their company. Um, maybe already feel really good in, in their company because I see the four of wands and while I was reading your four of wands card, I was having this card in my head, which is crazy, the three of cups. So I was literally just um, thinking about it, how this is a message of um, like friendship or having good connections and feeling great in someone's company and celebration because I was saying that celebration. So you're going to feel like maybe every time you're with this person, you're going to cherish those moments. It is This person will bring a lot of positivity and you're going to feel supported by this person. Like you can trust them. This is a card about finding a person that is like really committed to you, loyal to you, supportive, um, caring truly about you, like genuine friend or genuine person uh, with real feelings that they really care about you, okay? And you're going to feel like you have um a support system within this person um someone to really rely on and someone that also um celebrates you and and is there to cherish and celebrate your wins okay your achievements maybe you're gonna achieve a lot with this person and you're gonna feel like you have lots lots of things to celebrate but overall like really great company and really positive energies. Let's take a look about 
uh, a look at how you're going to meet this person. We have the Queen of Cups. How you're going to meet this person, pal one. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like you're just going to, to feel so um, like fulfilled with this person into your life, I feel like this person will just bring you a lot of fulfillment in sense of security and stability here with this nine of pentacles. I feel like pile number one, you're going to realize that with this person, you're really going to have someone to rely on and someone that can offer you real feelings in a life that's based on security. Yeah. And, um, I feel like emotionally you're, you're going to really feel like you can trust them and you're going to feel at peace and fulfilled in in happy and secure okay and i feel like you're just going to really understand their the depth of their love for you here with the queen of cups so i feel like you're going to be drawn to their loving kind genuine heart and you're going to love their sensitivity their their empathy their intuition yeah there again we have water energy in here um we also have like taurus in here but we're gonna see later on so i feel like the way you're going to meet them is just because maybe i feel like for you pal number one for the majority of you i feel like you already met this person so you're just going to come to get to know this person more deeply and you're going to fall in love with their hearts with their sensitive like loving heart and you're going to be melted at the depth of their love for you and you're really going to appreciate um the, the the abundance of love and the security that this person is going to bring you the stability and the fact that you can trust and rely on them okay now let's take a look at some oracle cards for your pile number one and see what else we can know about this person that's coming towards you all right i'm gonna keep the card that flipped which is imagine so with the imagine <laughs> i'm sensing that this person is they dreaming about you they're picturing their future with you because we have the hero fan here they think about having like building a life with you or getting married in the future with you so they sit in the back right in the shadow and they keep imagining a life with you they keep imagining a relationship with you um being close to you and being able to shower you with all their love and affection okay and being able to show you how much they love you and not hold it, hold it within. So I feel like they are thinking about you quite a lot, pal number one. Okay. Let's see another one for your pal number one. Okay. We also have two cards that decided to jump. So I'm going to keep them. We have transition and focus. So with the focus card, I'm, I'm picturing how they are focusing on you and you only they have eyes only for you they keep admiring you they keep looking at you yeah maybe they are just admiring the way you look they are admiring your way of being they are just simply in love with you pal number one um and their focus is you and being in a relationship with you and with the transition card i feel like they are hoping for a transition um or they are thinking about the transition either to trans uh, take a transition from this to make this connection actually official i feel like this resonates the, uh, like better okay with this uh, reading because i feel like we have the hero fan in there so they are imagining a transition within this connection that's going to uh level up yeah your uh, your connection and go to a more official or relationship and something that's actually stable let's see what else we have whoa there's just a bunch of cards in here so i'm going to try once more 
sorry I kept um, messing the cards okay true love yes pal number one this person feels true love for you and for them it is the romance of a lifetime it says here the romance of a lifetime and I don't know what that accent was lifetime <laughs> so for them this is a connection that only happens like that type of love that only happens once in a lifetime and you are very special for them pal number one okay you are like so meaningful for them and so special and unique okay and they feel like they're never gonna find someone else like you and as i said they're focused that uh, yeah they have uh, their eyes only on you let's see something else we have keys on a ring many options decision unconventional string along one night stand we have love call someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know so i feel like this person realizes that you know um maybe you have many options okay um that you have more options to choose from or maybe they're one of those options to choose from i feel like they are making that decision yeah i feel like this is just more about them really doing like that introspection and coming to a decision where they are either choosing to maybe move on or to have like casual dates or to just really having just their eyes for you and i feel like because they feel like this is so special and it's i feel it's not in their personality or it's just not in their preferences to have those type of connections they want to have something stable with you um, maybe they see you as having more options yeah as i said in the beginning and they feel like they're left behind and that they're just one of that those options that you maybe don't consider or you're um not paying attention to them as much as they would love to and we have someone expresses love so i feel like this person as i said in the beginning of your reading with the ace of cups they are going to express their love for you they are going to call you or like reach out to you in some way and tell you that they are thinking about you they've been thinking about you all along yeah letting you know that they have feelings for you okay now let's see when is this person going to come into your life or in your case pal number one when is this person going to come to express their feelings for you when they're gonna reach out okay when is this person going to reach out to pal number one okay i'm gonna pick up this one we have take action so this person is realizing that it's time for them to take action and really like as i say like take that phone and make the call or I'll reach you out so i feel like it's going to come really soon because we have take action and action is like obviously a very like masculine energy in a strong powerful energy of the present moment to take action now so i feel like this person very soon will make that um expression uh, expression of love they will come and confess their feelings for you so their head already is set so i feel like they already took that decision right that this is the lo love of a lifetime and i don't want to lose it so i'm gonna take action because i don't want to lose pal number one okay let's see what their star sign in uh, star sign is and a number that might be relevant for this connection for pal number one so we have number four okay and we have wow we have taurus as their star sign we have the hero fan which is also taurus energy so very strongly represented i feel like this is going to resonate with a lot of you that this person might be taurus or at least have it uh, strongly represented in their chart um this is someone yeah like taurus are people of like family oriented they are tradition oriented they really love to have like um stable relationships i mean obviously this is very generalized um but like in its energy and like what it represents is stable like people that love stability people that are looking for secure relationships family-oriented people 
okay and also people that really love comfort love to have um like comfortable lifestyles and they want to make sure that they live like that so even if it involves to work hard to make sure that they have a stable financial situation that is going to make them feel more at peace and stable in life so that's something they really look forward to okay and last but not least let's see some initials for you pile number one okay So let me grab all of them because they kept flying all over the place. <laughs> okay. And we have J. We have U. R. I. E. M. A L S I once again so stronger represented oops B O and E once again all right, so my dear pal number one, this is all I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next reading. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Hi, my dear pal number two. Welcome to your reading for those of you that chose the Amethyst Crystal. So let's see who is coming towards you. I'm going to start off with the card that you were drawn to, which is the King of Pentacles. So I feel like the energy of this person that's coming towards you is someone that is very mature, someone very responsible, someone that is already reached a level of security financially. I feel like this person either has a successful business or this person has a, a well-paid job or um, they are in a position where they are living comfortably they have a st stable and secure financial situation and i feel like this is someone that uh, something sorry that they're really valuing in their life stability in their uh like all aspects of their life such as uh, finances but also relationships so i feel like this person once they're going to come into your life they're going to feel ready to provide ready to start a family ready to have um a long-term and stable connection they're ready to commit and um, also, I, I sense that it's not necessarily about feeling ready, but about feeling like the, the way they portray uh, relationships and the way they value relationships. And this is how they want to have stable relationship uh, and something long term. They are ready to put in energy and effort in order to uh, make sure that the, the foundation of the relationship is strong, right? Now let's take a look at your tarot cards and see more information about who is coming towards you. Pile number one, literally we have King of Pentacles and we had here the King of Pentacles already. So it's so like strong, the message. For this person, we have Page of Swords. I need to cover the lover's card we have the lover's card which is really beautiful and now we need just one more card for your pal number one and we have the eight of pentacles oops all right so i feel like pal number two this person is like really hardworking here with the Eight of Pentacles. They're, they're putting a lot of effort, as I said, in relationships. So it's really confirming the message that I was hearing earlier with your first card. Um, so once they're in a connection, they, and not necessarily just romantic relationships, but even with their family relationships or like friends, I feel like this person is that type that really puts energy and effort into making it work, into making sure that things 
uh, things are strong yeah the connection is strong uh, the bond remains strong and this is someone that is like they want they're ready to f- in, in embracing fixing in a connection rather than just throwing it away they're a huge believer that you, you know relationships need to be worked on relationships need to put to be put effort in in order to work um like i'm sensing that this person is very mature right and yeah i feel like with this person you're going to really understand uh or feel you had the the importance of having a partner that is listening to your wants and needs and wanting to make sure that they meet those wants and needs and to make you feel fulfilled and happy and i feel like this person with this person you're really going to have a healthy relationship um in also i feel like they already have a lot of achievements here with this eight of pentacles they as i said they maybe already have a, a an established business or a well-paid job or some assets or just their financial situation is really good because I, I feel like this is something that it's really important for them and it's something that they worked a lot for okay it's it's something that they've worked hard to to achieve so yeah i i do sense that they're a hard-working person and responsible person and with the king of pentacles basically we're just having the king of pentacles clarifying the king of pentacles which is again showing that maturity, showing that um, abundance financially, yeah. And a person that is is um, in a position to provide a person that is very generous as well, even though they're like working hard and they have a stable financial situation. This is someone that is not in that scarcity mentality I'm sensing. Uh, this is someone that's very generous and feels um, good when, when helping people and a very protective person and partner okay um and i see also that they are the type of person that never stops learning always um maybe they love reading uh this person might be listening to a lot of podcasts or like uh doing research uh, and and they really love to be informed and in have knowledge they are very curious okay and curiosity obviously like stems from a hunger of knowledge of information so i feel like this person is uh really like enthusiastic and and curious about learning more and and um like also like expanding their vision okay and having more and more ideas i feel like by getting more information and by getting um informed i feel like uh, they're inspiring themselves and they're helping their creativity grow and, and expand as well okay and yeah i also sense with the lover's card that this person is looking for their soulmate that's why i even said that they want something serious they're looking for a serious relationship so they're looking for their soulmate and they're looking for that type of connection where both people are involved both people are like it feels like both people truly love each other and um they want a peaceful healthy relationship okay and i feel like they they know deep down that the person the right person for them will come eventually and they trust the universe uh, for that now let's take a look at how is this connection going to feel like wow we've got the magician this is beautiful let's see what else we have wow we have three cards i mean four in total but it's okay there should be a message in here i'm gonna put them like this so i feel like panel number two you know you're going to feel with the magician that either you or this person manifests this connection and it's so crazy because i literally just saw that soulmate connection with the lover's card earlier and i feel like this person as i said is looking for their soulmate so i feel like they're actively trying to manifest the type of connection that they're looking for um so it's going to feel like it's been manifested like it's been given by the universe like you two were brought together and it's going to feel like soulmate connection that's for sure 
And it's even crazier that we have the Two of Cups, which again is a very similar card to the Lovers, which shows soulmate connection. Two people that meet in the middle, two people that are uh, giving like 100% both, yeah, and really trying to like, yeah, meet in the middle and try to uh, meet the other person's uh, wants and needs and feeling fulfilled, like both people feeling fulfilled and happy and loved and taken care of. I feel this is really sweet message, pal number two. It's heartwarming. And I feel like this connection is going to feel like you, both of you just manifested each other's soulmate by, by being together. And um, it's going to feel like you've met your partner. Yeah, like that. It's just complimenting you and um like i mean as in personality and like your visions and your dreams and the way you you view relationships and love and the way you perceive connections so i feel like you're really gonna match and you have a lot of in common and you're going to feel like both of you are really trying actively to make the connection work and fulfill each other uh, each other's wants and needs and feel loved so it's going to feel blissful. I, I feel like it's going to feel like a healthy relationship. All right. And we also have the King of Wands, which is not necessarily uh, like you don't only have the true love part and the the sweet, kind energy, but also the fiery one. OK, with the King of Wands. So this is showing attraction. So between the two of you is going to feel like sparkles fly, instant attraction, connection. A magnetic bond that you two are really going to be drawn to each other like magnets and you're gonna find each other good looking and like really attractive and drawn to each other and you're going to be physically really really into each other so you're gonna spend a lot of time you know being intimate I feel like you're really going to have a strong strong uh, attraction for the, each other and it's not even um, you know just unexpected because obviously we have soulmate connection which um it shows a, a relationship or connection that's meant to be and obviously makes a lot of sense to have that strong attraction that um that fiery connection and we also have the hermit here which is i feel like it's showing that both of you together will feel like you're in this like you're gonna help each other find each other's purpose purpose in life sorry and um i feel like you're going to realize a lot of things within this connection like you're gonna find a lot of answers within these connections uh things that you were um trying to to look for like answers or something yeah like a sign that you were trying to look for uh, the hermit is about introspection so i feel like this connection also is going to bring you more close to spirituality or to understanding your, yourself and understanding your thoughts and your feelings and your purpose and your journey right this is really really interesting so again it makes a lot of sense because we have that soulmate connection that thing that the universe like is bringing you two together and it's something that's meant to happen and it's part of your spiritual growth and journey i mean for the both of you and now let's take a look at um how you're gonna meet this person okay pal number two how you're gonna meet them okay we have page of wands let's see one more card we have seven of cups wow this is really really interesting so pal number two you might meet this person while traveling here with a page of wands or you might meet this person through um like something you're gonna pursue with a lot of passion could be a new job could be um like a new a new study yeah that you're gonna do or an activity that you're gonna do and you're gonna do it with a lot of passion a hobby that you might have something that you do and you love doing or something that has to do with your future plans your future um resolutions okay something that you're really excited about and you're making plans for right so could be that you're going to meet this person 
um, during that type of activity or or maybe travel yeah travel plans that you're doing um, or something that involves your passions and your future plans and again it's just like showing that it's something that you're dreaming about it's something that you really want to make reality it's something that you have in your imagination you keep picturing it um, so yeah I also sense that you know another thing that I, I feel like mentioning is that you're gonna feel like once you meet this person that it's someone that you've been always picturing of like the person that you always wanted or someone that you've been imagining so again it really is a theme in your reading that this person pal number two that's coming towards you is your soulmate is something really meaningful it's something it's a connection that's just strong and special and it's meant to be part of your journey okay let's take a look at your oracle cards now let's see what else we need to know about this person or what else there is about this person so we have observer and no place like home so i sense that once you're going to meet them because it's going to be that instant attraction and that instant sense of soulmate connection you're going to feel like you can trust this person is going to get that home like feeling that it's familiar this person it feels familiar this person feels like home and it's safe feels comfortable feels uh secure and also feels um like you know them already even though you you maybe you never met this person right you you're gonna feel like you you've known them forever and and it's going to give you that warm protective secure feeling of a home yeah being with them and you're gonna have that trust yeah like straight away um and we have observer so i feel like this person is someone that has a good eye for details a person that is curious a person that loves to learn um an observer a person that really takes their time uh to to really see the their surroundings to see like the people around them before jumping into like opening up to them um and yeah they have a good eye for details and they they are very receptive i feel like and they love to learn that's for sure <laughs> a person that just uh it's a huge believer yeah that you never stop learning and you should never stop learning and growth and expansion should be part of our life always um let's see what else we have for you pal number two about well, this person that's coming towards you leadership okay so again this person might be a leader of their own business or have a high up situation in, at their job in their career a person that is like having financial situation like uh abundance yeah like in that in their finances and being a person that's looked up uh, a person that's admired a person that is respected and has authority okay let's see what else we have about this person we have let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally so i feel like this is a person that usually loves to be in control and makes sense with the pentacles and yeah that i was seeing in here um they tend to have this thing where they obviously value security and the like feeling secure uh, one thing of feeling secure is being in control and sometimes they can be a bit too control controlling over like the situations in their life or things that they cannot really do something about or like they cannot control the, the outcome of those situations and they tend to really take hard those type of situations they prefer um to feel like they're in control uh but i feel like this is something that they're slowly growing out of and i feel like with this connection they're going to understand the power of letting go and going with the flow okay now let's see one more 
We have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So I feel like usually this person is... Uh, maybe they had relationships in the past well where they were in that runner position like uh, maybe they have avoidant uh attachment style um and they tend to prefer to be on their own prefer to um or they have this thing where they have a fear of intimacy maybe from like childhood wounds or just uh, yeah their experiences as a child or could be that from like past experiences in relationships they might have a fear of intimacy but i feel like with you pal number two we have this beautiful soulmate connection and i feel like both of you will learn and grow together obviously nothing is perfect and i feel like this person is really going to grow a lot as i said they're going to learn the power of letting go the power of allowing things to unfold naturally and um this person will definitely uh grow a lot and and you as well so this is something that's going to help you both get closer to your purpose as i said and closer to being um you know a, a better version of yourselves and grow all right and now let's see when is this person coming into your life pal number two i'm really excited for you because this connection is just amazing and beautiful and unique let's see when is this person coming into your life pal number two okay i feel this one you're ready so spirit is saying that you're ready to receive this person into your life okay let's see could we get a more specific okay we have the uh, card within the next few months okay now let's see their star sign in a number that might be relevant for this connection for pile number two we have number five and we also have Aries energy. Okay. And last but not least, let's see some initials for you, pal number two. Let's pick up some initials. Okay. I feel like picking up a few more. Okay. So we have J, N, E, S, O, L, G. We have also Z in here. E, once again, P, E, wow, strongly represented E, <laughs> we have it again, so E is very strongly represented, we have T, A, oops, R, and last one is U, okay? So this is all I have for you, my dear pal number two. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next reading. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Hi, my dear pal number three. Welcome to your reading for those of you that chose the blue opal crystal. So let's see who is coming towards you. You were drawn to the princess of swords. So this is like the page of swords in tarot. So I feel like this person that's coming towards you is um, someone that is learning a lot or like studying. Maybe they're a student, yeah, studying or a person that's just really interested in growing and expanding their knowledge. Um, someone that's just very curious about uh, and like curious in life and, and about 
learning more about life itself, learn more about themselves, uh, about different topics. So this person might be reading a lot. Um, this person might be like always um, trying to be on top of the news. Maybe yeah. Also, this person is really interested in expanding their 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 views and their knowledge and uh, maybe traveling yeah is another thing that it's um like a hobby of them that, yeah like a, something they're passionate about um because this way they get to see more of the world learn more about people about other cultures um so overall this person has uh an open mind yeah they're very open-minded very flexible uh they have um a sharp mind and they're eager to to learn okay and to to just absorb more information okay so very curious person and an um open-minded and eager to learn person and now let's take a look at more information about their energy who is this person that's coming towards pile number three so we have the star i need to cover the card so i'll wait for a next one who is this person that's coming towards pile number three we have queen of cups with the star in there who is this person okay three of swords and two more cards so we have yeah three of swords the justice card and also eight of wands okay let me just arrange the cards better so it can fit all right so i feel like pile number three this person that's coming towards you is someone that is going through a healing process yeah they're trying to heal they had a major heartbreak in their life okay so maybe they this is a situation that happened romantically maybe this is a situation that just is a general and, and personal situation but they felt really really hurt by someone or by a situation yeah and they they felt really low and upset crying i'm sensing as well or just feeling very very upset in their heart and with the um, the star i feel like they are healing they are like basically rising back uh raising their vibration back rejuvenating getting really really in depth more within themselves trying to contact more their intuition and in actually get more in contact with themselves that's what what i was trying to say and i feel like they are highly intuitive a person that feels very deeply okay an empath uh here with the queen of cups as well so a person that might be a water sign or um we also have aquarius but we'll see later on in your reading their star sign with an an astrodice but i feel like this person is very sensitive someone that puts a lot of their heart in a connection or in whatever they do um and because they're like so open and fresh yeah i sense very open and fresh energy about this person they they tend to embrace things like or like people really openly and pour all their heart in that specific connection um and this is how i feel like they managed to to get hurt um because they just offer a lot and they pour all all their heart right and they are um like a person that cares about others a lot they're an empath they are someone that senses you know other people's energy they put themselves in other people's shoes quite a lot and they care about how other people are feeling right and i feel like someone maybe took them for granted maybe someone really used that about them like their heart their good heart their sensitivity their um good will right and i feel like they're healing um, they're allowing their intuition to guide them out through this heartbreak and also they're full of hope right the star means like not losing your hope not losing your um like feeling that things are going to be all right and i feel like this is what they are either going through right now or i feel like maybe when you're going to meet them but i feel like it's more their present energies um 
And also I see that they are just creating stronger boundaries. They are creating um, a sense of confidence. Yeah, they're building their confidence up and they are a person that really won't allow anyone to step on their boundaries, anyone to step uh, and use them um, anymore. And they are finding their inner balance okay they're fine they're maybe already found their inner balance here with the this scale in these justice cards um yeah we also see libra energy obviously and here with the justice so i feel like um this person is just ready to to cut anyone who doesn't serve them anymore people or situations that are bringing them down that don't resonate with them anymore so they're looking for justice they're looking for um maybe or they are trying to find justice from this person that or situation that led them to heartbreak after they gain back their power um so yeah i see that they're in a position of like power and authority and confidence and also i feel like justice is something that is really important for them like they value honesty they value um loyalty they they value trust so this is someone that they offer those things in i feel like they've been hurt in the past and they are not going to allow anyone to to do the same to them to yeah do the same thing and I feel like they've got clarity of mind. They've reached a place where they know what their wants and needs are, what they, what they deserve. And they're not going to let anyone treat them less than they deserve. Okay, they know their worth. Okay, so they still have that sweet, gentle heart, that loving heart here with the Queen of Cups. But they've got the confidence and the power, yeah, the inner power of justice energy. And I also feel like maybe this person is someone that maybe you are connecting with a uh, long distance. Okay, could be the case for some of you. Or this is someone that it's really busy, someone that has lots of projects. Yeah, as I said, they're eager to learn, eager to grow. So might, they might be taking lots of projects. They might be working on a lot, of, a lot of things at once and things move really fast in their life. They keep... Um, like jumping maybe from one opportunity to the other or they might be taking more opportunities at a time and they're very passionate about what they're doing i feel like so if it's their job or what if they're studying something life i feel like either way they're very passionate about what they're doing and they do life and things with passion they love to learn they love to be active and to be keep busy okay and i feel like their lifestyle is more of a speed um like fast paced one okay here with the eight of once now let's take a look at how is this connection going to feel between the two of you pal number three okay we have the hermit we had this card in this position in pal number two so we have four cards that flipped we have also the ten of cups which is really beautiful we have um judgment card which i need to cover in the emperor Okay, so I'm going to put them like this. Wow, so really powerful energies. The way I feel like this connection is going to feel like, obviously we have so much happiness and fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. So it's going to feel like you've met someone that you feel fulfilled by. It's going to feel like you've met this person that um, makes you feel complete. It's I'm not trying to say that you don't feel complete or you're not complete, pal number three, please bear in mind that what I'm trying to say with a 10 of cups is that you're going to feel that this life is the way you want it to be or this relationship is the way you portray a relationship is going to really make you feel fulfilled and um, like a whole and, and abundant, right? As in this abundance energy. I mean, like you're going to feel like this person brings you a lot of value into your life and a lot of happiness and you're going to feel fulfilled by your relationship okay and yeah with a judgment card i feel like um you're going to feel like you have to make an important decision within this connection uh or this connection is just going to be coming at you 
through um, an important decision that you're going to make, okay? And it's going to feel like it changes your whole life. Uh, we had the Hermit in Pile 2 on this position, as I said, and I feel like it's really um, interesting that we have for both Piles a uh, connection that's coming towards you, yeah, Pile 3, that's going to really be um, important on your spiritual journey. I feel like you're going to feel like within this connection you're gonna find a lot of answers a lot of um yeah like answers that you have within signs okay that you've been looking for uh the hermit is about introspection about learning about yourself understanding your thoughts your feelings so i feel like with this person you're really gonna grow um like spiritually mentally um maybe with this person oh also another message that's coming through is like um because this person is so eager to learn and maybe they have this maybe they're gonna have this uh inspiring uh influence on you that you're going to feel also inspired to grow and expand and learn as well and you're going to be looking for certain answers or certain like finding your life purpose or like uh finding your journey okay so i feel like it's really eye-opening yeah this connection is going to be eye-opening and um interest like making you introspective and focus more on inwards uh on you your thoughts your feelings and your journey and your purpose okay and with the judgment as i said i feel a strong energy that this is going to change your life or this is going to feel um like a, a huge shift in, in an important chapter like a new chapter that's going to to start once um this connection yeah with this connection uh and i feel like with the emperor uh this person will make you feel protected this person will make you feel like you have someone to rely on you have someone that i feel like you're gonna feel this person is really responsible and trustworthy and that you can really really lean on them um you know i also sense that this person is going to really bring that sense of practicality or is going to um help you focus more on the practical aspects of your life um and you're really going to be inspired by them okay you're going to uh, learn a lot from them i i feel like this person has a lot of experience life experience maybe they're older in age or maybe it's just that they've been through a lot um and i feel like they have so much wisdom and so much to offer intellectually but also just like as in their experiences so i feel like you're going to look up to them and you're going to admire them and be inspired and learn a lot from them okay that's why i feel like here with the hermit you're you're gonna feel a bit like enlightened or like uh, more introspective in um going more in depth um yeah and and see more of of this connection of, of, of yourself in each situation in your life like go beyond the superficial things now let's take a look at how you're going to meet this person pile number three how you're going to meet them so we've got two cards and one is four of wands and the other one is nine of cups wow so i feel like you know i was just literally trying to like say to you pile number three that what i meant is that not that you're not complete um but this connection will feel like it makes you feel like this this is um how a relationship should feel like and fulfilled and accomplished right and it's so interesting that we have the nine of cups which is answering to the question how you're going to meet them so i feel like you're going to meet this person at a time when you're going to feel really um confident and good about yourself and complete and accomplished like you've achieved like a lot of what you wanted and you're in a in a good place in your life okay and I also feel like it is going to be uh, some sort of like celebration, maybe a wedding, maybe a party, maybe a social gathering, uh, something to celebrate, yeah, uh, when uh, the way you're going to meet them. Because I see here with the four of one celebration, party, engagement, uh, celebration or wedding, okay, this is signifying all of that. So maybe you're going to meet through like mutual friends. Or like some people are going to yeah like introduce them to you okay let's take a look at your oracle cards now and see what else we have about this person that's coming towards you 
So we have three cards. We have buy the book, we have time for a nap, and community. Ooh, maybe this person is part of your community. Maybe this person is living like in your neighborhood or like maybe it's part of your like, workplace or uh, the way where you study. Okay. Um, or maybe, as I said, is a friend of your friends, like a person that is part of uh, not necessarily your immediate community, but like other people from your um from your circle of friends might know them so i feel like somehow they're going to be part of your community okay and i feel like time for a nap here it says that this person really is in a time of healing right now as i said they're taking a break from everything in order to heal in order to rejuvenate um time for a nap represents that time of um yeah like taking a step back and in taking a break from everything, get yeah, time for a nap, try to rejuvenate, to regenerate, recharge your batteries, right? We have buy the book. So this is someone that, um, you know, it's really interesting. We have the justice, which is like, seems like a very strict energy. So I feel like this person is that type that really loves to do things the right way, like buy the book. Maybe, maybe this person is working in the law environment. Yeah, we have the uh, justice card, right? So we have that but i feel like more about like their personality could be that they really love to do things by the book and also we have book um which really uh brings in my head another message of this person maybe it's a bookworm like someone that really loves reading and as i said in the beginning yeah like they love books they love learning they love expanding their knowledge okay now let's see one more oracle card from another deck Let's see about this person that's coming towards panel number three. We have tranquility. Ooh, so I feel like this person is really patient, someone that is very calm and collected and grounded, um, and is going to really spread that tranquil energy. You're going to feel really peaceful around them, and uh, you're really going to feel like this person is so patient and um it's going to make you feel really calm as well just being around them okay let's see what else we have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so i feel like this is someone that is meant to come into your life this is someone that divine timing is um and divine plan is is working towards i feel like with the hermit yeah, as i said and with the judgment card i feel like it's a very important connection it's something that's um like inspiring and something that's going to be really important for you in your journey and your growth so i feel also for their growth obviously it's like something that's meant to happen so i feel like it's something that's worth waiting for it's a connection that's worth it i feel like um it's going to bring a lot of value into your life panel number three let's see what else we have okay we have hand of cards which says take a chance risk being strategic options not showing a uh, hand uh, gambling right so what i feel like with this card it's uh really representing that this is worth waiting for and it's worth taking a chance for right uh my i mean it, it sh any new situation any new relationship or it could be a risk could be like a obviously we don't know what things are going to happen but i feel like this is something worth or yeah worth it like spirit is saying that you know even though it feels like a risk or like a leap of faith this is something that's worth it and uh take that chance right take that opportunity also maybe this is uh, something about their personality i hear that maybe this person has a lot of options a lot of opportunities um they love taking risks like they or, or not necessarily like love but they don't have a problem with that they are very adventurous i'm hearing and curious and uh that curiosity and eager to know uh is like feeling uh or fueling yeah like fueling yeah that um ability to take risks and take new opportunities in and take chances yeah with maybe new um business ideas or new projects okay yeah and i feel like this person is like very strategic yeah here it says like being strategic so i feel like this is a very rational person someone that also like can be uh like very sensitive and in heart 
like oriented person but also a mind oriented person we have here the the judgment card has the sword the mental clarity um which shows a rational logical um like pragmatic mindset so they can be very strategic and this is i feel like it's helping them like in their um like journey in their career um at their projects right so now let's take a look at when is this person going to come into your life plan number three and i'm really curious for you as well like when is this person coming into your life i feel like this one Within the next few weeks. Wow. This is actually very soon. Energy for you, pal number three. Now, let's take a look at their star sign and a number that may be relevant for pal number three. Okay. Ooh, we've got number four. And we also have Cancer energy, Cancerian energy. So it's a water sign. I saw here quite a bit of water energy. And last but not least, let's see your initials for pile number three. Okay. So let me gather all of them. And we have L, and we have B, and we have A, P, N. O, M, S, oops, D, I, C, U, I, Okay, N once again X and N. Once again, wow, three times N, so very strongly represented. All right, so this is all I have for you, my dear pal number three. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next reading. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.